Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be making a sandwich from World War II. This was uh, sent in by Timothy, who saw it at the History Museum in Minnesota. There was no particular book associated with it. Apparently it was a display on uh, rationing during World War II. So uh, yeah, let's make the raisin cheese sandwich. First thing we got to do is steam some raisins. The reason for steaming the raisins is to plump them up, but they did plump up. So now we got to chop them a bit. All right, so we have the raisins of our raisin cheese sandwich. Let's add the cheese, which is, of course, cottage cheese. Oh, but we're not done, because we're to add mayonnaise <laughs> and, of course, peanut butter. Now we put that on the whole wheat bread. And no, not buttered, because during World War II, butter was rationed. Okay, let's give this raisin cheese sandwich a go. That actually tastes pretty good. Nuttiness of the peanut butter, the, the tang of the cottage cheese, the sweetness of the raisins, and the mayonnaise has just sort of disappeared. It's bringing richness, but you're not really tasting mayonnaise. Don't get me wrong, it's not a wow sandwich, but it tastes pretty good. I do want to plus it up, though. I'm going to add some Chinese five spice powder. I think those warm spices and star anise and everything will play nicely with everything in here. Okay, let's give this raisin and cheese sandwich plussed up with Chinese five spice a go. Mm -hmm. That is delicious, <laughs> I dare say. The Chinese five spice is working really well with the cottage cheese, the raisins, and the peanut butter. Wow. All right, so the original raisin cheese sandwich, it was tasty. Unless you had an aversion to one of the ingredients in there, uh, it is a tasty combination. The tanginess of the cottage cheese and the nuttiness of the peanut butter. And I do think that the raisins benefited from being plumped by being steamed. Uh, they got a lot softer and a lot more, I don't know, enjoyable to eat. Um, I thought that worked really well. I'm going to give that... I'm gonna give that a six and a half, I think. That is pretty good. Plus up with the Chinese five spice powder, that's easily a seven and a half. That is tasty. Uh, I finished the rest of it, but uh, Christine's doing that for me right now. <laughs> it's okay, I can make more. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.